Bonjour! How are you today? Following my last video on how to make my own watercolors, I wanted to show you how they perform on an artwork. It is very very hot this day and I'm quite happy to say that we have a little bit of shade in the garden where I want to film this video. And I also took my inspiration from the plants around for this illustration. I wanted to do something very low, so I didn't sketch much what would be in it, but rather painted and let it come to me. For this illustration, I used my box of homemade watercolor and I took hot press arch paper because I still have a lot to learn with this paper. And if I don't use it, I'll never know how to use it. Try, try and always try until you succeed. If you have missed my video on how I made this yellow paint, I will link it somewhere so you can find it. Since I wanted to draw more loosely, I picked a big splatter brush to begin with and do a little wet on wet to have the color mood settled. I'm trying to have a quiet summer vibe for this illustration. Let's see if uh, it works in the end. I'm going to speed up the video to see the steps faster. I want to have the parts in the sunshine influenced by the yellow so it gets warm and more saturated and the part in the shadow to be blue and contrast with the yellow. I have planned to have big leaves in the lower part of the illustration and I want some of them to be very blue. Once the first layer has dried, I take a smaller brush but still a splatter because I love the shapes I can create with this kind of brush. This one is a bit special, it has an angle and it allows me to do very fine lines as well as big areas. In terms of colors, since I have that summery yellow vibe, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to every color that will be in direct sunlight. It should warm them up nicely. As I go into the shadow, I will go darker and add some blue. With this paint, I have a very limited palette. I'll report you again to my video on how I made these, so you can see the color chart I made of these colors. And they are very earthy, and I don't have many options, but it's part of the game too. Since I knew I wanted to have blue leaves in the foreground, I went for a vivid yellow skirt for this girl and I hope the contrast will be nice. All there is to do now is add some density and details on the leaves and the character. I say I wanted something loose, but as you can see by my train of thoughts, I'm still thinking a lot about what I do. I mean, 
I am thinking a lot before doing a watercolor illustration. Usually I do sketches, I do color test, and even sometimes I do a full sketch on another paper, clean it on the light table, and then work on it. So compared to other artwork, this one is not very thought out. To finish up, I want to add a little bit of ink. It's an ink called Carbon Ink, it's very great and I truly love it. Also it's waterproof, oh yes, waterproof. I ruined my previous watercolor because some water splashed over it and the ink I used to do the line art wasn't waterproof at all and I got big splash <laughs> over my, my painting that I spent so many hours. But well, I won't let this mistake happen twice. Also, I don't know what I did with this shot. I think I misplaced it and as there isn't much I can share with you, but you can still see me ink a tiny bit of her face. So there's that. And finished! So what do you think? Is it summery enough? I'm glad to be able to paint with my own colors. It, feel, it feels quite unique and satisfying to think that I've made my own paint and that I can actually paint with it. Seriously, oh great! I am probably going to put this artwork for sale in my shop, so go check it out if you are interested. I'll put a link in the description below to my Etsy shop. I am quite happy of the final illustration and I had a good time painting it. It's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment and share around if you liked. It's a great help for me. See you soon. Bye!